Now welcome to the new studio. Now in our new brand new condo, there are a couple upgrades that need to be done immediately. Now the bathroom for instance, I think needs a bidet system. If you're not familiar with bidets, you gotta jump on those. Um, but the problem I've been finding is that the shape of our toilet doesn't leave much room in the back because it's curved and it's very short. So what I ended up doing is calling Bidet King and try to work with their people. We were on the phone for about 50 minutes. I think this is the one it's going to be. So today we're going to take a look at the Alpha JX Bidet System. It's an energy efficient tankless water heating system to bring the bidet of bidets. Now this is in particular the winner of 2022 for best bidet systems of the year. And that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products. Now, if you're not familiar with a bidet system, it's more of a hygiene way of doing the, the French, they use it all the time. However, we want to use this in our house because we need it. We need it. You need it. So this one in particular, the Alpha JX, is going to have certain features. Rear wash, front feminine wash, wireless remote control with wall mount, nozzle oscillation, warm air dryer with adjustable temp. You're going to get heated seat with adjustable temp, seat sensor, adjustable nozzle position, adjustable water temp, adjustable water spray, LED night light, power saving modes, aluminum wash nozzle, self-cleaning nozzle and a one-touch wash and dry that's a lot and it's bidet is very very affordable now this cost $374 so if you're looking to compare I'm going to send you a link for bidet king and if we can get a discount code it'll be on the bottom so do me a favor all the information will be right on the bottom like subscribe let's go see if this works because I don't know if it's gonna work but we'll give it, it is shorter than most bidet systems. Now, we happen to have a Toto uh, E350 and we have a 550, but I can't use them in this apartment. So, we're going to take a look. Now, this is going to have a photosensitive light sensor, which uses and senses ambient light conditions in the bathroom. When it's dark, the seat's LED night light is gonna illuminate the bowl for easy bathroom using. Also, super saving for power modes to reduce energy when you're idle. It has a couple features. You got easy wash with a programmable nozzle. It's going to activate full pressure wash with nozzle oscillation. That's the zzzzz and the spray, which you guys will see. Now, the button is perfectly for folks who need to clean without having to adjust any settings, just press easy wash and it'll do. Now you'll see it has light sensing. You'll see that it has power savings, rear stop. This is supposed to be a very high end bidet system, but the back here is shorter in stature and it's curved. So we're going to see if this is going to do. Now the system that I have here, it's an elongated seat, but we work together to figure out that the round version is going to do. Okay, so the lid is off. We're going to shut off the water. To be honest, this is not the weirdest things you guys have seen me done. And now we're gonna flush. We're gonna want to grab the T-valve which is this valve here. And we're going to want to place this where the faucet is coming from the hose on the backside. So make sure not to over tighten this because the threads are very delicate and uh, we don't want to do that, so. Okay, next we're going to put these mounting bracket right over here and we're going to secure it onto the toilet bowl and hopefully we get the right fit. Now if you guys have any questions on this install, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe and we'll take a look. 
Okay, so... Okay, now, I believe this goes here. Let's, uh... That is good. Now, all we need to do is to get the hose on and then plug this puppy in and we should be good to go. Back in a sec. So now we have to put this hose into the reservoir. And then we attach this to the bidet. Turn down the water. And the last thing to do is to power this puppy up. Okay, so now let's remove this, remove the tape, and we need to get the remote to see if it goes on. Okay, so now the first thing you have to simulate as if somebody's sitting here. So hopefully you guys can catch this. All right, let's do. Now it's cleaning itself as you see. And the nozzle comes out. Let's do, every time it goes back, it does a automatic wash. Let's do. Now one of the other features that you'll notice with this is it has an easy close. So you're not gonna slam the toilet. It's a very soft, almost whisper quiet mode. The one thing that this does not have is a auto present. So when you walk up, there's an auto sensor that sees it and will raise like the Toto's uh, E350 or 550. But if we close the lights, you'll see that it automatically has an ambient light sensor there. Now, the Alpha JX is a bargain amongst the other devices. Now, this was $374. My total was close to $1,000. I bought it on sale on a Black Friday, so it was like $750. But if you are in the foray for looking for bidets, this was the winner of uh, Best of Consideration for 2021, and it was Best of Show for 2022. Alpha J6 is a device for toilets that don't accommodate regular bidets because this particular toilet is odd shaped. I had to modify the end just to get it to catch and it works accordingly. You have different nozzles here with a, a water remote, adjustable seat, warm water, adjustable temperature for you and that's gonna do for this episode. And I gotta tell everyone in my building, you know who you guys are. If you're looking for a bidet, the Alpha JX is awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Do me a favor, if you have any questions on either the Alpha JX or the Toto E350 or 550, which I have, but they're in a closet, do me a favor, let me know on the bottom and I'll be glad to answer all your questions. That's gonna do it for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. We're about to test out the Alpha JX and I'll let you guys know in the comments how I did. Well, you know what that means. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Subscribe.